The new Gcam 7.3 can now run on Android 9 and above. Well, I was the first person to break the bad news per se that it can only run on Android 10, but I told you that that's the reason why we love Android, that the developers, the porters can always remove the restriction and make it to run on Android 9. So um, you got to watch till the end because I'm going to tell you the specific devices that this particular port was ported for and works okay and effectively in you can see that 24 frame per second that new cinematic effect that um, gcam 7.3 bring in and you can see the viewfinder from the video i'm going to show you my raw unedited face a little because today we might actually get to 1000 subscribers and i told you that once we get to 1000 subscribers i'm going to be bringing out my face and doing more videos working to pay back to all the love that you've shown to us in this channel and if you're watching this video you haven't subscribed yet please just join our story join join this movement we are going to keep working harder to keep bringing you the best video okay so every other thing in the interface is the same like i explained with the previous gcam 7.3 video the night side portrait camera video and mind you um this was spotted for about four or five devices so we are trying it out in realme x to run it android 9 and as you can see it was able to install the only problem is that um the viewfinder can always show only in video it doesn't show in camera and then the only thing that we were able to record in realme x2 was the time lapse as you can see the time lapse was able to to record and also, not just record, we're able to play it back. Now, uh, the video, um, when we go to that shortly, the video also was able to record, but there was still a challenge on this particular one. So, um, this one is still buggy for my device. Uh, stay tuned because I'm going to show you all the devices that it works well to with, especially the Poco F1. Let me let that. So if you if you own Poco, you probably have to watch till the end. I'm going to show you that. Then the video was able to record, but it couldn't save on this particular one. So I'm not just you know talking about the bugs or what and what is not working. I'm just so excited that finally GCam 7.3 can now be installed on android 9 devices running android 9 so quickly we're going to also go into the future as you can see the last gcam that we tested didn't have the um, 24 frame per second feature so you see now we, we could record video but it cannot save so let's just go out into the quick settings and look at some of the future some of the new features like it, oh, we can see we've seen all this before now in the previous gcam 7.3 but right now there are new one or two addition as you can see now there is um there's no difference in the advanced uh, setting is just the same advanced setting but right now you can see there is um optical image stabilization and electronic image stabilization feature that is added to this one so that is a very very good you know um feature that was added so that's just about that um this one have a few developer setting nothing much in this one that's just about that so if you watch till now please subscribe to the channel and help us just make it 1000 subscribers please so here are the devices this particular port was spotted by bsg he is a very popular Android porter. This is the devices that we are ported for, and they are uh, Xiaomi Mi 8, Mi X, uh, Mi 2X, and 3, Poco F1, and Razer Phone 2. So these are the particular phones that it was ported to. So you can see the link in the description. Check out BSG, and there are other Gcam ports that are available for your devices. And I'll see you in the next updates. Peace out. Subscribe. I see. Very cold. Make my body cold. Make our bodies hot.